Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're looking at the DX20 by Majority Audio. This is a 2.1 uh, speaker system, so two speakers and a subwoofer. Majority were kind enough to send this out for me to test and review for free. However, all my thoughts and opinions are my own, and this does not influence my opinions in any way. So, let's have a look at the box here. So, you can see that they're quite big on uh, protecting the environment, so there is no manual in here. What you need to do to uh, look at the manual is you need to scan this on your phone, and it will bring it up on your phone, which is really nice. Saves on paper and that, which is really nice to see. More companies should do this, so props to them. Has a three year warranty if you register after 30 days, in within 30 days of placing your order and receiving it, which is pretty good. Three years is around the, uh, the industry standard. And some of the main specs that will focus 20 watts, down frying subwoofer, Bluetooth, USB, SD card playback, desktop control, headphone jack input, and it's USB powered, plug and play, so it should be easy to set up. So let's get into the box. This is pretty big, so hopefully you can see everything in this. It's a really large box. So we've got, let's make that more in frame. So in the box we have the speakers. Speaker 1, speaker 2, we have the desktop, desktop control sort of wheel here, and underneath this is very well protected and padded with this so it doesn't break in transit, and we have a pretty big subwoofer there, if I can get it out. So here's a subwoofer, and it's actually a decent size. You can see here if I turn it around, all of the controls. So you have your treble, bass, volume. They actually feel really good quality as well, which is nice to see. These are smooth. This one has little defined steps. It's your on button, previous track, forward track. Play pause, these buttons do feel good still. Here's your in um, for the side speakers, so you have your right and left. SD card playback and your USB power. Here is the down firing subwoofer you can see here. So this should add a bit more intensity to the bass, which is nice to see. So there's the subwoofer, pretty compact, but it looks pretty good. So. Interested to see how that sounds. Get to the speakers. Here's a speaker with the uh, cable. Okay, let's have a look at the uh, volume control wheel. So here's the volume control wheel. It's got a light here. going on here. Oh that's pretty cool, so you turn it on and off by pushing it in and pushing it in to turn it off and pushing it in to turn it on. That's quite cool, Not most of them, like my Logitech one, has like, if it's off, it'll click to turn on and then you can use it and then when you turn it down to zero volume it clicks again. But this is also quite cool, so see how that is. 
has little feet here to sort of stop it from moving around on the desk. But yeah, there's your USB power. There's your aux to connect it to your computer. Sorry, that wasn't in camera. There's your USB power. There's your aux to connect it to the computer. So I'm gonna set this up, go over some of the specs and how it sounds, and I'll give you my overall opinion and if I would recommend this speaker system. So there's a few features and aspects of the project I'd like to go over. First one being the down firing subwoofer. I thought this was pretty good, um, but I don't think it added sort of a massive benefit compared to um, any other system I have that doesn't have a uh, down firing subwoofer. It sounds decent, but it's nothing amazing or anything. Um, I actually found that the weakest point of this speaker system was the subwoofer. The quality of the bass just isn't quite as good as some of the other offerings I've heard. Um, it's not bad by any means, but the bass, the low end, is definitely the weakest part of this speaker system, in my opinion. In regards to the satellite speakers, I think they're actually really good. Um, crisp, clear audio, high, high end mids are actually really good in them. One thing to note about them is the cable to connect them is really short. And they were actually too short for me to use on my desk, which is quite a big deal. So if you have a desk which is fairly high or tall, then these might not be able to reach the subwoofer on the floor. So you may have to put the subwoofer on the desk, which is really frustrating. And you could fix this by getting an extension, a 3.5 millimeter extension cable, which would solve the issue. But I would like to see these hopefully um, get a bit longer to uh, accommodate people with larger desks. The speaker system is USB powered. One thing to note about this is you need to make sure you have a, an appropriate power adapter. So your normal phone adapter, which is, which is about 10 watts, might actually limit the uh, speaker's capabilities. So you want to have something that's at least 20 watts minimum to get the best experience. The plug and play nature of the speakers are super good as it's really easy to set up. And with Bluetooth, USB and SD card playback, I did try all of these and Bluetooth worked flawlessly for me. I had no dropouts or cutouts in audio. It connected straight away and it was actually a really good experience. The desktop volume control knob is uh, convenient. It's easy to use. I'd say my recommendations for the EQ settings at the back of the subwoofer would be around three quarters for treble. Personally, I liked the max on the bass because I still felt it was a little lacking. So I would recommend doing max on the bass as well. So would I recommend these speakers? I would say yes, but for a specific person, you need to really value the Bluetooth, USB and SD card playback support. I have a few negatives that I did see. Um, some of the build quality of the plastic on the speakers seemed a little off on my unit. Um, I had some imperfection lines on some of the uh, satellite speakers. I've put some footage on screen now. Something to note, it just didn't seem very good quality. If I have missed anything that you guys would like to know in this review, then please let me know in the comments and I'll try and get back to you. If you guys do want to pick these up, I'll make sure I leave a link in the description for you guys to check them out. But that's all for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you in the next video. Peace out.